Yeah, today we're going to be talking about what happens when you sort of fall off the wagon, as they say. You know, the wagon this time being coding and progressing as a developer. Um, you know, uh, I figure it's an appropriate time to have that conversation about how we can get back on the wagon and get back onto the path that we want to be, which is you know learning to become better software developers, working towards that first software engineering role. So let's go ahead and dive into my five ways that when I realize that I've gone astray, how I come back. I want to thank our longtime sponsor of the channel, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you're looking to get your career started, might I recommend Dev Mountain? They have a full stack JavaScript, IOS, UI UX, quality assurance, course and Salesforce and if you go for one there's full their full-time on location boot camps they include housing with it so you can get up and go be amongst your peers as you try and uh, progress your career so check them out at devmountain.com so when I realize and you don't always realize it right it's usually you start feeling a little worse uh, things aren't going the way you expected them to and then you realize oh I'm not doing the things I need to do or I'm not you know, I wanted to be coding every day. I wanted to be exercising every day. And you realize you're not. Like, actually realize and accept it. Um, the first thing that I do to try and get back on the, the wagon of, of life, uh, of software, is I, I start to think about why. Um, what has changed in the last three, six months that I haven't been doing what I wanted to do? What, what is that, did? And you start really thinking about, all right, when I was, when I was doing well, what was what was my life like what was the circumstances what were the stressors and you go uh i'm not doing well in the fact that i want to be somewhere and i'm working towards it but not as much or not at all um and you go okay well since that i maybe you've had a relationship change and that stress has thrown you off and now you know you just have to make a mental note of dealing with that or you're like well my my work schedule changed maybe i can go back to my old work schedule the idea here is to really try and tackle the items that have changed since then, because life changed, life's in, uh, always fluctuating, good and bad, and maybe saying, okay, what are some of those bad things? Because a lot of times what happens is you just never deal with the bad stuff, and what it's, the way I explain it is oftentimes the negative things in your life that you just don't want to deal with are things that really have no impact, or the situation is more so, it's not as scary as your mind makes it up to be, and the stress of not dealing with it is much worse than the stress of actually just going and tackling the stressful situation. So that's usually what I do as step one. Step two, um, and you can these steps are all, not really steps, but just sort of more so things that I, I've done to try and get myself back to where I wanna be, is uh, try, to, try to understand what it is that you want to be. A lot of times people just, yeah, I wanna be, I just wanna have a good life, Okay, well, what are the steps that you said that to get that good life you need to have? The goal isn't so much important as, because the goal at the end of the day for everything is just happiness. We all just want to be happy and, um, you know, have those around us be happy as well, right? So if you really wanted to funnel it down to a simple ideology, it's we just want to be happy and uh, others to be happy, right? That's, that's it. Um, what that happiness means, maybe it means that you retire at 40, maybe that means that you are, um, you know, traveling the world in a band, whatever it is, whatever your goal, that's, we're all trying to accomplish that. So the goal is irrelevant, but the importance is to identify the steps as to what it is that you're trying to accomplish and actually write them out. I find it very helpful that uh, on my whiteboards, I have them on, up on the wall and I write various things constantly. They, they're there for a month at a time of what it is I need to accomplish this month. Just little little dashes, little bullet points. So I see it every time I come into my office and I'm reminded and I'm reminded and I'm reminded and then I accomplish it. So that's, that's uh, usually one of the items I do as well to help me remember what it is I'm trying to accomplish. Um, the third thing I always do is I have a schedule. Uh, you know, I, I treat my goals like I treat my, my job, right? If you stop showing up to your job, 
your paychecks will stop showing up. If you stop showing up to your goals, your goals will stop being accomplished. It's the same concept. And so I treat it like a schedule uh, where I'm like, okay, I plan on working 10 hours a week on myself, 10 to 20 um, towards my, my goal of becoming a better developer, becoming a uh, better um, software engineer and my career, right? And so in those 20 hours, I don't just randomly plan it. I have set times that I go and work towards it. Saturday mornings or Saturday evenings, I work on YouTube. Uh, in the morning, I study. Every single day, I'll spend about an hour studying in the morning. It hasn't been that way this last three, four weeks. And that's one of the reasons I thought it was an ideal time to actually make this video is because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the process of realizing the last six weeks or so, I haven't been accomplishing what I want to accomplish. I've been, I've been busy with the move, and that's the life thing that I'm continually trying to finish up you know, finish up, we're moved in, but now it's like, I have to adhere to my schedule. I need to be here and work towards it. And I have other time to handle the boxes and the furniture and all that crap that comes along with it and the paperwork and all that sort of stuff. But I have a schedule to what's going to help progress my life and I always need to stick to it. And so reminding myself, okay, cool. In the mornings, we spend an hour on software, hour on software, watching a tutorial, doing whatever it is but we have a schedule that we stick to. Now this next one might be a little bit of a controversial one, um, but again, I don't. I do my best to share what works for me and be honest about what's worked for me. And uh, it may be a little bit different for you, but silo yourself. And what I, what I mean by that is you're the only one that wants to accomplish your goals. You have to understand that as much as you do. And I have always found that when I just go into silo mode, meaning stop answering calls, I turn my phone off, I don't go out anymore, I, it's, it's what I need to do to jumpstart back into the groove. And so I might disappear for two, three months, like off the grid. The only thing you'll see is videos on YouTube, that's about it, and that even stopped the last three weeks or so. So I think siloing yourself is somewhat healthy you just have to unsilo yourself uh, which becomes the the hard part for some people and some sometimes people need that that connection with other people all the time i'm not saying not to have it but what i am saying is you have to understand that this is your time and you need to protect it and so sometimes it just means you have to go go dark <laughs> go silent last but not least just do it just pull the trigger, just whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, go for it. You know, a lot of times people spend so much time thinking and overanalyzing and like, what if I don't accomplish this? The thing is, if you just always keep working towards it, you'll get there. It's maybe not when you want to, but you will. And I think the regrets people have in life is not about what they did. They regret most often what they didn't do. And I, I can just say that there's probably only been one or two things I really, really wanted to accomplish in my life. Everything else was just sort of going through. Um, probably the only thing really is I wanted to be a software engineer. Um, around 24, it was uh, 25, it was happening. Don't care if it took me till I was 30, 40, it was happening. And the thing about that is when you have that drive and you're pushing towards it, You'll accomplish it just because you actually want it. It is something that's going to happen. It is not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. And so when you're putting that in your mind and you're going for it, you'll, you know, you won't, you'll get there and you won't, and even if you don't, you won't have any regrets because you'll know you gave it your all. That's the thing is just give it your all, pull the trigger, get going and stop over analyzing things and just, hey, you know what? I haven't done shit for the last three months. What am I going to do to change that? Well, today, I'm going to do something. T tomorrow, I'm going to do some other shit. The day after that, I'm going to do some other shit. And so you just tackle it one day at a time and get going. And, you know, these are just words. I can't do them for you. I don't really even believe in motivation. I think more than anything else, what you get is information. And motivation is nothing but reminding you about things that you already know about, right? We already know how to get six-pack abs. We just don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, we already know how to become software engineers. I have to code every day. That's it. That's it, guys. I've said it. You know what that code is? 
we can we can all define that and then you look that up but you just have to do that you have to work towards the goal every day you'll you'll get there <coughs> so if you're fall, if you're falling off the bandwagon just get going that's it at the end of the day pull the trigger and uh pull it again the day after that the day after that day after that anyhow guys i appreciate you all if you're interested in any of my courses, might I recommend the 100 algorithm challenge to help you get prepped for your JavaScript technical interviews. And then of course, um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.